make some stuffed mushrooms, which are a fantastic appetizer, also serve as a great side dish as well. Very simple, very few ingredients for this dish, and a big crowd pleaser. We are going to make a filling of prosciutto, a mixture of the button mushrooms and the porcini mushrooms and a little bit of chopped onion. When I'm in Italy, I'll use pancetta crudo. Uh, for this particular recipe, when I'm in the States, I go ahead and I use bacon grease. Sometimes you can find the mushroom caps. If you can't just find a really large white button mushroom, just take the stem out yourself. If you happen to be in Italy and it's mushroom season and you wanna know where to find the best mushrooms, drive along the road, find the sign that says, no mushroom hunting here, and that's where you want to go find your mushrooms. We're going to go ahead, we're going to saute our mushroom caps first. So we're going to put our heat on a medium high and melt a little bit of the bacon grease. You start out with a tablespoon and a half. You want to have just enough that when melted, it's going to cover the bottom of the pan. You just want the taste of the bacon. You don't necessarily want to drown your mushrooms in the bacon. You want to make sure not to overcrowd your pan with the mushrooms, so just a few of them at a time. Always start with the top down. We're not really looking to cook the mushroom through because the mushrooms are going to go into the oven after we stuff them. Just kind of want to move them around a little bit. You don't necessarily need to touch them. Mushrooms become a little fragile. The less they're handled, the better. And if you find that the pan is starting to dry up a little bit, don't be afraid to add a little bacon grease in it. I'd rather start out with not enough than to start out with too much. This makes for a great aroma throughout the house. It's kind of like on a Sunday morning when you're cooking that bacon. You just want to look to start having a little bit of liquid collecting in the bottom of the cap of the mushroom. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just looks like a pool of water. At that point, we're going to turn the mushroom over And you'll see you just have that beautiful golden brown color on the top. So now we're just going to let them sit on this side for about another 15, 20 seconds, and then they're done. Again, we're going to be baking these, so you don't want to cook them all the way through. Just want to have a nice brown touch to them. Once you've browned your mushrooms, take them and let them drain. And now we're going to go ahead and prepare our filling. So, we're going to add just a slight bit more of the bacon grease. And then we're going to add in our chopped onion. So, we're going to cook for a few more minutes. Because the onion takes a little longer to cook than the mushroom does, we want to give them a head start. And you usually want to let them sit for about maybe two, three minutes. It will turn brown with the color of the bacon grease. So once that starts happening, we're going to take our chopped mushroom, and you don't want it to be so fine that you lose the flavor of the mushroom. Toss that in with our onions. And then as the mushroom starts to cook, they'll start shrinking up a little bit. And we're looking for them to just start turning the slightest bit brown. Notice how the mushrooms are starting to get a little softer. Here we're going to take our white wine. We're going to put enough in there to make them sit just a little bit in the wine. You want to burn off the alcohol from the wine. We just want that flavor, just that hint. 
This is going to be our center for our mushroom. To let all of this liquid evaporate so that we can fill our mushroom caps with this. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of salt. Don't need a whole lot. And pepper. And last but not least, a little bit of marjoram. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And if you want, you can add a little bit of parsley. You're going to add your diced prosciutto. I prefer prosciutto sandanielli, which is readily available if I'm in Italy. A little more difficult to find here. You typically can always find an imported prosciutto. I want to make sure it's not a domestic prosciutto because there is a definite difference in the taste. You start getting a drier consistency here. See how the wine is now cooked off. Everything's starting to brown nicely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove any excess liquid that we might have in our mushrooms by turning them over. And now we're ready to stuff them. And we're going to take our stuffing and we're going to go ahead and just take about a teaspoonful, tablespoonful, however much the calf will accommodate. Just want to make sure that when you're stuffing this, you get a little bit of each ingredient in there. Once you have all your mushrooms stuffed and your caps on your cookie sheet, we're going to take some grated uh, Parmesan cheese. This is freshly grated. You know, take this and we're just going to pour tons of cheese on the top of your mushrooms. Now, notice that I'm not worrying that this is getting all over the tray and there's a reason for that. Once these have baked, this Parmesan cheese is going to brown really gorgeous and make little cheese crisps and we're going to use those, you'll see, in the end. Then take a little bit of melted butter. We're going to drizzle the butter over the cheese. Now we're going to place these in our preheated oven, 350 degrees. We're going to allow them to cook for 30 minutes. So let's go check the mushrooms. Once they start getting that nice golden brown color, then they're ready. And you want to go ahead and pull them out of the oven at that point. And as you can see, Nice golden brown on top. Give you that nice crunch when you bite into them. So now we're going to take the uh, warm mushrooms and transfer them over to a serving platter and I'll show you what we're going to do with the cheese. Take the cheese and you're going to break those into little pieces. We'll make little wafers and just place that on the top. Helps you add height to your plate. Louise's stuffed mushrooms. Bon appetito.